Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be giving a quick overview of the key features in the new update for the game Elf Explorer. First off, the game has introduced Dynamax and Gigantamax features. All Pokemon can use Dynamax, but only certain special Pokemon can Gigantamax. I'm not sure how long Gigantamax lasts, but I've heard from some people that Dynamax only lasts for three turns. By the end of the video, I'll show you how to effectively battle Dynamax, even if your Pokemon are as weak as mine. Secondly, they've added an activity time feature that helps you track when different game modes open. You just need to click on the opening label next to the mode you want to play, and it will automatically take you there. Since I haven't reached the scheduled time, the opening label hasn't appeared for me yet. In the Safari Zone, there have been quite a few changes as well. Now, you can preview the UR shiny Pokemon in each map, making it easier for you to choose. As for whether SSR Pokemon are still available like before, I'm not sure since I haven't tested it yet, but I think they probably are. I'll do a review of the Safari Zone later. And there's also a Safari Zone in Sinnoh now. However, I think it's meant for future updates when you can continue leveling up as new maps will likely come with new main quests. They've also added a monument to honor the top players, and I think it's probably for the top one players in the four arena modes in the game. This is something we probably won't have a chance at though. Uh, there's also a catch contest event, but it hasn't started yet, so I don't know how it works. It might be available in two days, and I'll review it then. I'm guessing you should use Gengar for its mean look skill, which prevents wild Pokemon from running away. Uh, I imagine it could be a contest to catch as many Pokemon as possible to compete for the top spot, but I'm not certain. If it turns out they require you to bring strong Pokemon to compete for the fastest kills, don't blame me. This is just a guess. Um, they've also updated the VS Battle interface to make it more accessible allowing you to easily see which battle modes are currently active. Um, they've also updated the VS Battle interface to make it more accessible, allowing you to easily see which battle modes are currently active. Now you can add friends across servers. All you have to do is click on someone who's messaging you and press Add Friend. If I remember correctly, this feature wasn't available before, as cross-server friend requests weren't allowed. Now you can add friends across servers. All you have to do is click on someone who's messaging you and press Add Friend. If I remember correctly, this feature wasn't available before, as cross-server friend requests weren't allowed. Next, in the map section, any area where you've caught all the Pokemon but haven't claimed the rewards yet will display gift boxes in those locations. My advice is, if you're aiming to complete your Pokemon collection, don't claim the rewards right away. This way, the map will still show you which areas are incomplete, so you can go back to catch more or evolve your Pokemon to finish off those maps. Next, in the Pokemon Species section, there's a new fashion feature for Pokemon. I'm not sure where to find the outfits yet, but I'll guide you once I figure it out. If anyone knows, feel free to comment. Also, there's a Habitat section. It used to be quite useless because many locations were hard to find. Now you can simply click on a Pokemon's Habitat and it will automatically take you there. Check out how I do it.
uh, there's an added feature for the get ability function. If you try 20 times, you're guaranteed to succeed. This is great for those who have been unlucky and haven't been able to get it after many attempts. Now moving on to battling Dynamax bosses. These bosses have high HP and are immune to effects like sleep, paralysis, and freeze. You can only lower their stats. They aren't affected by damage reflection from held items and Endeavor doesn't work on them. The only moves that are effective are Super Fang and Nature's Madness, which reduce the boss's HP by half. Since I don't have a strong Pokémon with these skills, I'm planning to farm a Mouse Pokémon to use against the boss. Right now, I'm making the most of the strong Pokemon I already have, and you can do the same. These two Pokemon are only 3-star and 4-star, so they're easy to catch and everyone has a shiny Pikachu, right? The first Pokemon is Gothitel. I mainly use it to lower the enemy Pokemon's magic resistance. If you're lucky enough to lower it twice, the enemy will go down even faster. The second Pokemon is Raichu, and you should use Thunder with 110 power. Although its accuracy is only 70%, don't worry, you can keep using it since this mode only counts a turn when you win. So, 70% can feel like 100% if luck's on your side. Watch how I do it. <laughs> 